And now at six, Venezuela in crisis. On just its second day in session, Venezuela's Constitutional Assembly votes to oust the nation's chief prosecutor. The president of neighboring Colombia calls the removal the first act of dictatorship of an illegitimate assembly and vows solidarity with the Venezuelan people. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live in downtown Miami where dozens of Venezuelans here in South Florida gathered for a rally. Kerry. That's right, and reports indicate that the person who is replacing the country's attorney general is an ally of President Nicolas Maduro. Now, many here gathered, dozens in fact, gathered at a monument to freedom in Miami today to stand in solidarity with those in Venezuela. It was a political rally to support change in Venezuela. Complete with a Venezuelan musician and his band and pleas for help from a higher power. We all going to raise our hands and pray to God and ask God to bless Venezuela. It was called Miami Unites for Liberty in Venezuela and it brought together Cuban Americans and Venezuelans united in their support for freedom in Venezuela and an end to the reign of President Nicolas Maduro. The Supreme Court has been dissolving powers left and right and now Maduro seeking to establish himself as a dictatorship. This man, Wismer, is from Venezuela and his family remains there. And sometimes I feel happy to be here, to be, to be, you know, making music, what I love to do, um, but sometimes I feel so sad. And the news is not good. Many see the beginnings of a dictatorship in these scenes, the swearing in of more than 500 members of a so-called constituent assembly Friday morning in Caracas, a body loyal to Maduro, and members were defiant. To the head of the empire, we said, don't mess with Venezuela. The Trump administration slapped sanctions on Maduro and other government officials. Florida Senator Bill Nelson believes the sanctions will work. Oh, they all love to come to Miami and they love to stash cash. The question remains about the crackdown by Maduro on his opponent and a tightening grip on power in the country. Local leaders like Republican State Representative Jose Felix Diaz hope rallies like this one help spur change. I believe that this is the moment where our community can stand, support the Venezuelan people in their quest for democracy and hopefully make a big difference. And Senator Nelson says he'd like to see even tougher sanctions on Maduro, including at least a partial ban of oil imports from that country. Live in Miami, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.